Hey everybody, Nikki again uh, with another video. That's my personal experience not to be used as medical advice. Um, and I'm doing this one because I had somebody uh, ask me a question about sensor updating, do not calibrate. And um, I've been looking on the internet. We tried Medtronic. Um, my mom's trying to help me find you know some information too and we can't find diddly squat. So um, I was gonna do the next best thing and that is I was gonna share what I have seen on my pump um, and I'm inviting anybody to share what they've seen on theirs. Um, there is not a lot of commenting going on, which I don't care at all, um, but we do have each other. Um, and maybe one way to figure out this piece because sensor updating can shut you down for, as they say, up to four hours. And the times I've had it, it has shut me down for up to four hours, for almost four hours. Um, and I haven't always recovered from it. So it's a pretty heavy duty thing that happens. Um, and I don't know why it happens or what it means, um, and I wish I had the answer. So this is what I was going to say. It's the it's when your pump reads, sensor updating, do not calibrate. Um, it gives you no forewarning. It gives you no other direction other than that, and you just get some dashes where there should be a, an SG. Uh, so what I think it means, and I'm not even positive about this, but I think it means you lose all access to anything that requires an SG because, you. I mean, you can't be and auto mode because there's no number. You can't have suspends on because there's no number. I might be wrong about that, but I think that's what it means. And as I said, it's just kind of, it just kind of paralyzes everything for up to four hours. Um, the only thing I can do is share my own experience. And I will say, um, I've had it happen approximately eight times. And since beginning the, my uh, pump, which has maybe been five or six months ago now, um, I've had it happen about four times at the end of my sensor life. Two of those times, I actually think it rebooted and, and let me go again for another 12 hours, even though it was at the end of the life anyway. Um, two times it just kind of petered out. And I've also had it happen about four times, maybe a couple days into the sensor. Once was at the very beginning of a sensor that was bad, and that one just never picked up. It ended up asking me to change my sensor. Um, and then two or three other times that it happened a couple days into it. And I wanna say that two of the times it, it picked up and then continued to keep working. And one of the time it ended up asking me to change my sensor. Um, that's all I have. That's, I don't have any other information other than that. Um, what I do know is that when we've called Medtronic, they have said, oh yes, sensor updating, do not calibrate. Oh yes, that means that your sensor is updating so do not calibrate. And I'm like, wow, that's okay. <laughs> Thanks. That's um, not helpful. So if you guys know anything, if you care to share, um, it would be nice to hear back to see. There is at least one person who says they get it about four days into every sensor. I personally think that sounds like maybe something's wrong, but um, I'm not Medtronic, who doesn't know anyway. And I'm not anybody but me. So that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope somebody shares. And I hope you guys are having a great day. Bye.